through the Russian president Vladimir Putin has invited the foreign ministers of Azerbaijan and Armenia to Moscow for ceasefire talks today. So on October 9, this meeting is due to be held between Russian foreign minister and foreign ministers of Azerbaijan and Armenia. Putin last night called upon both Azerbaijan and Armenia to end hostilities. He called for immediate ceasefire. He said that for the purpose of exchange of prisoners and collecting of dead bodies of soldiers, there must be immediate announcement of ceasefire by Azerbaijan and Armenia. So let's see viewers, will Azerbaijan and Armenia join Putin for talks in Moscow today or not? That we'll see in the coming hours. So far, Armenia has been saying that there cannot be any ceasefire talks until Azerbaijan withdraws from the areas in Nagorno-Karabakh and Jabrail and Fuzuli regions. So they want a first ceasefire, then talks. On the other hand, we heard from the president of Azerbaijan. He said that we cannot stop. Uh, we cannot listen to such statements as we will do something, we will help. He said we want some immediate solution to this problem. So he announced to press ahead with his offensive, military offensive. So both the parties, they haven't been in support of a ceasefire talks before ending uh, military operations. So let's see if these two parties, Azerbaijan and Armenia, will they join Putin for talks in Moscow today or not? We'll see in the coming hours. But this development shows that uh, so far Russia is neutral in this conflict. We haven't seen active military support by Russia for Armenia. Though Turkey is supporting Azerbaijan, Turkey is openly saying that they are standing uh, behind uh, Azerbaijan. But Russia has been largely neutral. That is why we haven't seen any statement from, uh, from Azerbaijan against Russia. And uh, if Azerbaijani foreign minister, if he joins ceasefire talks uh, in Moscow, it will further be a confirmation that Russia has been largely neutral in this crisis so far. Let's see what happens in the coming hours, viewers. Uh, thank you for watching.